Only on Action News this morning, under Initiative 502 passed by voters last fall, adults over 21 are now allowed to have up to an ounce of marijuana here in Washington. Lawmakers will start issuing licenses to marijuana growers, processors, and retail stores, with the drug taxed 25% at each stage. I spoke with local smoke shop owners, pot smokers, and police to see how the legalization process might affect you. I have customers coming in all the time that I've never seen before. I mean, occasionally I'll walk by somebody and I'll think that I smell it. Despite the obvious rise in marijuana use since the drug became legal, once it starts to sell in stores, state lawmakers want to put a 25% tax on the drug. If you were to buy a 40 sack of marijuana and the government put their hand in it, you would get back a $10 bag of marijuana. The Washington State Liquor Control Board will regulate the production and distribution of marijuana. The State Office of Financial Management estimates the measure could raise $560 million a year in taxes. Tax rates are going to be ridiculous if they can even put it in place a dispensary. Now that it is legal for adults to carry up to an ounce of pot here in Washington, Tim Adams, co-owner of Hippie's Smoke Shop, has noticed a spike in local crime. Smashed up mailboxes and are doing Drano bombs in mailboxes in, in the area of Kennewick. A young Tri-Cities marijuana smoker prefers to keep his identity anonymous. We'll call him Alejandro. Alejandro agrees even if it is legal for him to smoke, the new law won't be making the community any safer. Because now it's not that they're trying to find pot, it's they're trying to find that access, that that excessive amount of pot that's bringing in crime to the Tri-Cities. Since it's now legal to smoke marijuana here in Washington, drug recognition experts in Franklin County have seen about a 50% increase in the number of drug-related DUI callouts countywide. A lot of people are very surprised to realize that you can be impaired on uh, illegal drugs and on, on uh, medication that's been prescribed by your doctor. Corporal Gordon Thomason is also a certified drug recognition expert and says marijuana DUIs are just as serious as driving while drunk. It doesn't matter if you're on uh, impaired on drugs or alcohol, you're impaired and you can get a DUI for either way. Now that it's legal to be high and kind of have it, people are going to, of course, people are going to abuse the right. And the solution? Simple be responsible when they're taking their medication and or drugs and if it's including marijuana. You'll get a record and then what happens? You go to prison, go to school. Lindsay Adams, Action News in the Tri-Cities. Now the State Liquor Control Board is developing rules for the up and coming marijuana industry with a possibility of digital tracking of inventory to prevent diversion to the black market. Sales are set to begin late this year.